and welcome into GVSU Football Weekly brought to you by Xfinity. I'm Steve Lloyd Jones. The Lakers are now 7 and 2 overall thanks to their 31 21 win over Hillsdale. Down 7 at the break, Grand Valley outscores the Chargers by 17 in the second half. And tonight you're going to hear from head coach Matt Mitchell and some of the players. You'll also get an inside look at Lucas Kozu as our profile this week and a special feature on the graduate assistants. It's all ahead on GVSU Football Weekly. Let's get started. As the first half highlights unfold, Grand Valley and Hillsdale, two very good offenses in a seesaw affair. Each team moved the ball well, both through the air and on the ground. On second and 10, midway through the first quarter, junior running back Mike Rattay would run for 10 yards. The run by Rattay would be followed by a 17-yard completion from Heath Parling to tight end Jamie Potts. On second and 14, Chris Robinson with a run of 13 yards down to the Hillsdale six. With a third down and one at the six, Chris Robinson would take it in himself. Convoy blasting into the end zone. Laker touchdown. Trailing 14-7, Brandon Green would get the carry. Good for 14 yards. On second down and one, Chris Robinson would break through the line. Good for 33 yards. Chris Robinson down near the 20 yard line. Facing a second and 13, Heath Parling would look for Brandon Green. The completion good for 27 yards down to the Hillsdale one. Mike Rattay would take it in from one yard out and the game was tied at 14. Grand Valley would find themselves down 21-14 going to the halftime break. We'll be back with the second half highlights after this. Stay with us on GBSU Football Weekly. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract to sign. And we'll get you started today with an easy-to-use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. For making cupcakes and deposits at the same time. For paying your friend back for lunch from your tablet. For 26 paydays triggered with a single tap. For checking your line, then checking your portfolio. For making ATMs and branches appear out of thin air. Simple to use websites, tools, and apps. For making your financial life a little bit easier. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me, or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Doctor. Doctor. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. Coming into halftime, we had left three possessions out there we uh, gave away, didn't score. And we knew uh, being the type of team Hillsdale is, you got to capitalize on everything you get. And welcome back to GBSU Football Weekly. I'm Steve Lloyd-Jones. As we move into the second half highlights, Grand Valley trailing 21-14 at the half. The Lakers would dominate the third quarter. 
Let's take a look. Grand Valley down 21 14 as they start the third quarter. And the first play out of the locker room, Heath Parling, good for 25 yards to Jamie Potts. A couple of plays later, the Lakers with a first and 10 at the Hillsdale 39. Jamie Potts hauls in this 20 yard strike. On fourth and goal, the Lakers brought in kicker Joel Skipper. But it was a fake as Jeff O'Brien tried to run it in, but the Hillsdale defense squashed the attempt. Grand Valley's defense would force a three and out on the next possession for Hillsdale. And the very next play, Heath Parling would connect for 49 yards to Brandon Green. series looking out here, Brandon Green. Unbelievable catch at the 10 yard line. Mike Rite on second and goal would take it in from 10 yards out, his second touchdown of the game, and Grand Valley tied it up. With the score tied at 21, Heath Parling in the offense faced a big third down and 10. Heath would take off on the run of 19 yards to pick up a first down. Heath Parling with some great throws in the game as here he connects with Jamie Potts, good for 23 yards. Chris Robinson would appear to score on this rushing attempt, and on the very next play, he would fumble it into the air to a Hillsdale defender. But Heath Parling was alert and would track him down for a potentially game-saving tackle. Grand Valley would get the ball back as the score tied at 21. Senior corner Reggie Williams would return this punt for 20 yards down to the Hillsdale 34. Grand Valley's drive would feature Heath Parling connecting with Jamie Potts again. This 19 yard strike would get into the end zone and the Lakers had their first lead of the game. As Hillsdale would get the ball back, quarterback Sam Landry would be sacked by DeAndre Hogan. Ball on the ground, Grand Valley's got it, I think. It's third and 13 for the Lakers as Heath Parling connects with Brandon Green for 12 yards. Then Chris Robinson on a fourth and one would rumble ahead good for two yards to keep the drive alive. Kicker Joel Skipper would give the Lakers a two score advantage as his kick would ricochet off the right upright and Grand Valley's lead was 10 points. DeAndre Hogan was a great presence in the backfield as again he sacks quarterback Sam Landry. Sam Landry would drop back and connect with Haley for 26 yards. But Luther Ware of the Lakers would force a fumble. And Reggie Williams has got this one. As the Lakers took over, Heath Parling would connect with Jamie Potts again, this time good for 31 yards. With that catch, Jamie Potts would establish a new career high, eight grabs for 157 yards and a touchdown. At halftime, we made a few adjustments, getting some linebackers in different positions, getting some ends in different positions, and we came out and executed, and that was big. That's, that's what we've been trying to do all year is come in at halftime, make the adjustments, and then actually go out there and execute the adjustments. When we come back, we'll take an in-depth look at the duties for the graduate assistants for the Laker football program right after this. Everything. A frost brew liner, cold activated mountains, two stage cold indicators, plus a new double vented wide mouth. This technological masterpiece will revolutionize barbecues, beach parties, and tailgates. It will bring cold refreshment to millions of people this summer and eliminate oppressive heat around the world. Sorry, I got carried away. The world's most refreshing can, only from Coors Light. Does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. <laughs> that ships them off to some bundle factory. I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Please contact your West Michigan State Farm agent for more information. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assigned. And we'll get you started today with an easy to use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been 
and where you're going, about your goals, and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. We knew we had the score, and our defense did a hell of a job stepping up and uh, getting us the ball back, and it was a great team win tonight. And welcome back. A very important part of the Laker football program is the work of the graduate assistants. They take on many responsibilities as we take a look in our special feature this week. Obviously, the, the weeks are long, and no one really notices what we do during the week. Like you said, it's a, it's a thankless job. It's much like the scout team that we run during the week. No one really notices us, but we help the team get prepared. Definitely a thankless job. We're here, the first one's in, the last one's out every day. Obviously, if we win on the Saturday night, it's a great accomplishment. It means that I did my job for the week. I got the scouts lined up, the correct formation, correct alignment, and gave them the best look that we possibly can. During the week, we run the scout team. I'm with the, the scout offense. And basically, uh, I'll make sure I'm just, I'm just running my own team. I'm, I have my own meetings, I'm showing them film, I'm drawing things on the board, just making sure that they're ready to run the plays and basically replicate the team that we're playing. Well, they're critical to our success. Um, we don't have, you know, we're Division II, so we don't have a big film staff, a big football ops staff, I and mean, we have coaches and the graduate assistants. And so those guys have to wear a lot of different hats, whether it's you know, breaking down all our film uh, prior to a game, getting our scout teams ready to go, unloading the bus after a road game, helping with the equipment, just about anything, recruiting, driving car, whatever they got to do. So they are asked to do a lot of different things. It's a dark office that you're on the computer uh, about 16 hours a day breaking down film. Uh, you don't get to spend a lot of time with your family or friends. To have this job, you have to love football. I mean, there, there's no way you can get to the league without loving football. And um, it's like obviously a lot of hard work, but to see the, the output and see the results during the game, uh, that's what I love. It's a small budget that we live off of, and whenever we can get a free meal from one of the full-time coaches, uh, it's definitely greatly appreciated. They do it, try to do it once or twice a week. You know, I think what's unique at, at our place is it's a, really a, a ground-level introduction to coaching. I mean, you, you're, you're involved in everything, and uh, prepares those guys. If they do have fortune enough to get a full-time job in this profession, which are hard to get, they've got a good background and been around a solid program. It, it is a glimmer of hope in the end of the tunnel that you know, getting a full-time job, coaching somewhere is something that we definitely want to do. Uh, we've, we've had a, like an excellent quote-unquote placement rate, you know. We've got guys in this league that have full-time jobs. Eric Yider is up at Michigan Tech, Dave Sarton up at Michigan Tech, Danford Rossi, who's the wide receiver coach at a successful Saginaw Valley team. And then we've got guys that have gone on to other graduate assistant jobs. You know, Bill Brecon was a player here at GA here. He went to Notre Dame and uh, is back now. Pat Welsh is down as a graduate assistant down at Notre Dame. Well, my long-term goal is to definitely be a full-time coach, defensive coordinator, head coach, something like that. And I know just like every other job, you have to pay your dues. And uh, we've got other guys that have done things, whether it's full-time jobs in Division I, Division II, and or getting graduate assistants at higher levels. Um, I think that all of our guys, after their experience here, have been able to have that on their resume. The Grand Valley tradition is part of their resume. And in the coaching world, I think that carries a lot of weight and helps them as they move forward. It's time for the Laker Lightning Round, and this week's participant is senior linebacker Chuck Hill. Our participant for this week's Laker Lightning Round is senior linebacker Chuck Hill. Chuck, you ready for this? Yes, I am. Okay. Player on the team most like you? Heath Parlin. First car you ever drove? Oh, 98 Grand M. Do you have a cele celebrity crush? Holly Berry. And who is it? Holly Berry. Hey. Morning Favorite gun. breakfast meal? The omelet. Get up early or sleep in? I like to get up early. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Uh, Heath Hookai, we call him Duger. One thing you always hear from Coach Mitchell during practice? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. Funniest thing that has happened during practice this fall? Uh, Coach Postma tripping over uh, his own feet. Hardest hitter on the team? Me. Best singer on the team? Gotta get out of Matt Mosley. Best dancer? Me. The funniest player in the locker room? Matt Judon. Best dresser on the team? I'm going go with Lucas. Favorite TV show? Sons of Anarchy. Favorite movie? What's love got to do with it? Favorite thing to do outside of football? Hang out with my buddies. The worst dresser on the team? Bill Siler. And the best thing about playing football at Grand Valley State? <laughs> 
the fans, the camaraderie, brotherhood, love it. All right, and that's this week's Laker Lightning Round with Chuck Hill. The Lakers were down by seven going into the halftime break. Grand Valley's coaches would make some great adjustments. Find out what those are when we hear from head coach Matt Mitchell after this as GPSU Football Weekly continues. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assigned. And we'll get you started today with an easy to use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. For making cupcakes and deposits at the same time. For paying your friend back for lunch from your tablet. For 26 paydays triggered with a single tap. For checking your line, then checking your portfolio. For making ATMs and branches appear out of thin air. Simple to use websites, tools, and apps. For making your financial life a little bit easier. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Doctor. Doctor. And one of the best things about State Farm is our accessibility. Oh, yeah? You can call us 24-7, get quotes online, start a claim with our smartphone app. You name it, we're here anytime, anywhere. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. Any way you want it. All night. All night. Every night. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. We just had ourselves a little journey moment there. Yep. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Please contact your West Michigan State Farm agent today for more information. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. If we keep going, Building up and getting better, we, I mean, we could be a great team. Well, as you'd expect, head coach Matt Mitchell was pleased with the victory, 31-21 over Hillsdale. Let's have a listen to some of his comments. I uh, was in a similar situation last week at Northwood. We were down seven, and uh, there was never any doubt last week, and I didn't feel any doubt uh, this week. I mean, we had some serious work to do defensively at halftime to kind of get get things righted because um, they're running the ball on us. But our kids, um, coaches and players kept kept battling, kept uh, hanging in there together, and it's a team that's got a lot of fight. I mean, they came out and um, you know ran a reverse. Like you said, they threw a toss play throwback to the quarterback. They got into a, a unique set, and they had a they you know maybe could have scored a touchdown had I been for a holding penalty, a throwback to a guy on a wheel route back in the boundary. Obviously, fourth and short. Uh, we put our leave our defense on the field, go punt safe. They still direct snap to the shield and get up get that. They fake punt. They did everything. So um, that's the way they've been playing this year. You know, they've been they've been doing a lot of a lot of that type of stuff and, and and playing well and putting up points. And you're right, we they expose. You know, they they did a good job in the first half and scored and uh, did some things on us. But uh, you know, a lot of times when you um, do those things and there's only so many of those that you have in your playbook. And I think you saw in the second second half. Um, you know, we would get a little bit more squared up on the run and then got ourselves in some third down and longs, which is, was to our benefit. Heath Parling managing the run game at the line of scrimmage, phenomenal job tonight. Phenomenal job managing the run game at the line of scrimmage and getting us into some really good plays. And they're good. I mean, they have those three linebackers are good players, and we were getting the ball on the edge and doing some things, and our backs were running hard. And, um, you know, I, so as a lot of it came on the O line and the tight ends. We also had some great blocks. 
it's a very unselfish group. It doesn't really matter who gets the ball at this point. They just uh, are all about executing and trying to score, and I think you saw that tonight with everybody. We, we hit the one big play to Brandon Green down the field, but other than that, we were really um, using Potts on a lot of intermediate routes. And, uh, you know, Potts really stepped up and helped us on some of that intermediate passing game. And, and Heath uh, didn't throw a pick, you know, threw for 300 yards, didn't throw a pick. And I think there was, when I look back to speaking of Heath's performance, there was a critical third down where they did a good job in coverage. Heath pulls it down and runs. He gets a big first down. He had another scramble, too, on the sideline that got us close to a first down or maybe got us a first down, too. So he can bring a little bit of an element to his with his feet, too. Throughout the course of the week, we came up with a third down package, our defensive staff, and I thought it was going to be really good for us. The problem with first half, we never got to use it. You know, We never got to throw it out there. But we got him into more third and longs, and we were giving Landry a lot of looks, a lot of different looks, and he was holding the ball, sometimes rushing three, sometimes five, and just making plays. The other, the other thing, though, this defense did this week, um, which hurt us in 2012, um, and we have not been doing recently. We didn't give up a lot of big plays. You know, We did not give up a big chunk home run touchdown and Hillsdale has been living on that and so um, you know you credit our back end of our defense for uh, making sure they're deep and keeping the ball in front of us and uh, not giving up the big home run play especially in the second half to allow them to get momentum and get back in the game our safeties and our corners tackled well I mean they really tackled well out in space and didn't allow them to get much going you know Hillsdale's a good football team they're they're uh, you know they beat Ferris they, they've been in games with everybody and uh it's a well-coached crew. You know, it's going to go down like that. You're never going to you know, be in a position to have a big margin of victory with Hillsdale just based on the style of play. And um, I thought our special teams were better tonight, too. I mean, we had a really uh, key punt where we pinned them inside the one, led to a three and out, got our offense some great field position. Um, you know, wish, again, kickoff returns a little bit better. But Joel Skipper in the rain came through with some big kicks, you know, got us that field goal. It, Kind of nicked in there, but we got the field goal to get us that two-score lead, which at that point, that's just what we needed. We needed the two-score lead and go. So we got a, you know, we got a, we have a team. We have a good team. We have balance on our team, offensive, the defensive, special teams. We have got a lot of guys that believe in each other. And like you said, we've got uh, two game season left here. We got to go over to Wayne State and kind of see what we can do from there. Coming up next on GVSU Football Weekly, a profile of senior defensive lineman and long snapper Lucas Kozu of Bay City. We'll talk about him when we return right after these messages. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assigned. And we'll get you started today with an easy to use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Staying cool all night requires refreshment. And refreshment means Coors Light. Always brewed down to 34 degrees. With two-stage cold activation and mountains that turn blue. All so you know exactly when your Coors Light is as cold as the Rockies. Let's get the night started. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the night's most refreshing beer. One of the best things about State Farm is our accessibility. Oh, yeah? You can call us 24-7, get quotes online, start a claim with our smartphone app. You name it, we're here anytime, anywhere. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. Any way you want it. All night. All night. Every night. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. We just had ourselves a little journey moment there. Yep. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Please contact your West Michigan State Farm agent today for more information. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Daddy. Doctor. Mike and Chris did a heck of a job like normal. Um, you know, our rushing attack is, is very good this year, and uh, it opens up the passing game down the field. You know, we have a lot of play action um, passes, and uh, that's set up by our run.
And thanks for being with us here on GVSU Football Weekly. You know, Lucas Kozu is a player who came in as a long snapper for the Laker football program. But as his career has developed, he's become a very good defensive lineman and contributor on special teams. Came in as a long snapper. Kurt Schnecker was here before me. Um, once he graduated, uh, I was able to take over the reins of long snapping. It was one of those things where I just practiced it, got it down, uh, perfected my craft, all while um, being able to play on the defensive line. So uh, I tried to learn as much as I could from uh, Danny Richard, who was here before me. So he kind of took me under his wing. He's been playing well at the end position and still maintaining his excellent performance as a long snapper, too. So a uh, very versatile athlete here from the state of Michigan, went to Bay City Western and has been um, just one of those guys, you don't, have to, you, don't, you don't have to do much, you don't have to coach him much. He's always usually in the right spot, doing the right job all the time. He's a very low maintenance athlete. It's a lot of pressure. I try not to think about it. I just try to go out there and you know, get my feet right and get set as I normally do and just go back there and not overthink it. Um, if I overthink it, sometimes I mess it up. So I, that's what, the main goal is not to mess it up. Uh, I dress for success. Uh, I feel as if I dress with nice clothes and jeans or something um, you know, of that nature. I, uh, my approach is a lot better. I'm ready more to attack the day versus just kind of sweatpants and sweatshirts, kind of bum mode. So I like to make sure that I uh, have the right approach. He's kind of become a guy that's um, stepped up and, and embraced what it means to play down there and has, has bought into our coaching and our teaching has turned out to be a better player. I never really had, I never had a brother when I was uh, younger, so it was nice to have these guys here on, uh, on my side. So it kind of created brotherhood is one of the things I'll probably miss the most. So that'll bring our show to a close for this week as Grand Valley gets the 31-21 win over Hillsdale College. Next week, Grand Valley on the road to the Motor City as they take on the Wayne State Warriors. Join me for another edition of GVSU Football Weekly. Have a great week, everybody. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assigned. And we'll get you started today with an easy-to-use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today for making cupcakes and deposits at the same time. For paying your friend back for lunch from your tablet. For 26 paydays triggered with a single tap. For checking your line, then checking your portfolio. For making ATMs and branches appear out of thin air. Simple to use websites, tools, and apps. For making your financial life a little bit easier. What started as an ordinary piece of aluminum was about to become something extraordinary. We have the technology to make it more refreshing than it's ever been. Bluer, colder, wider, venti -er. It's the ultimate delivery system for cold refreshment. Thanks, scientist. You're welcome, beach guy. The world's most refreshing can only from Coors Light. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me, or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Doctor. Doctor. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University.